televidente por venir en otra edición de Time Out. Ahora Time Out nos un gran honor junto con nos, los Long Distance Queen Runner. Nos estoy refiriendo a Lana Gobert, con quien nos voy a conversar a hoy en Time Out. Ahora nos voy a un break cortico, sin que yo nos voy a Nos está conversando con Lana Gobert. Televidente, danke para quedar junto con nosotros. Nos junto con Lana Gobert, nos long distance runner, nos long distance runner queen, queen long distance runner. Lana, um, good afternoon. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me here. Yes, yes. Look, tell us about the Wings for Life Run 2024. Tell us, tell us more about it. The Wings for Life Run is a charity run that. Um, uh, collects the funds to fund the, um, I think, um, to fund the, the medical research for those who cannot walk. And uh, it's a world event. Uh, people from around the world can register for it. And they have been doing it now for quite a few years. Me, myself, I've done it back in 2020. And the format of this run is very engaging and entertaining. Everybody can do, can, can do this run? Yes, anybody can join, and the, and the the beautiful thing is that uh, there is no finish, and you can run at your own pace, and you can run one kilometer, you can walk it, or you can run as many as you want. Uh, the winners ran about 60 kilometers. The um, the catch is uh, uh, that there is a catcher's car that uh, goes at the slower pace, and the you know the more kilometers you do the faster the car gets and therefore uh like at some point it catches up with you does everybody in the world run at the same time yes that's another beautiful wow. thing that the wow. start is all um uh, it's a 7 a.m for aruba but for example in india it was night uh evening and in australia it was a totally evening night run oh, but everybody nice. starts at the same time oh that is nice so uh, at the end you will know everybody's time and, 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 and the distance they, they, they covered. It would be nice. Yes, there, there, are, there, there, are, there are finisher lists, like world finisher lists, and the, you get the certificate and you, which states your position, you know, like your gender position throughout the world and your country position. I missed, I missed, I missed this piece, I think. How many times are you doing this already? Uh, this was my second time. Okay. The first time I did it, 2020 you remember when we had covid yes. and there was not many events going on so that was a perfect opportunity and i think it was a uh, it was great for the runners around the world too because many of us didn't have a chance to race oh i understand i understand so i think you're looking forward for a special happening this uh, this coming coming uh, this coming event yes exactly that's great 
let's let's step up to another one. What okay. does it mean for you to see your name on the World Major Marathon Wall of Fame? Wow. <laughs> that 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 was really you know actually to see your name printed on it after all the years of running and after all the all those kilometers it it it's really special and um yeah it's just so warm and you know and the name is there it's official and uh, it's just awesome and i cannot wait to see more names added for aruba because right now we have only three <laughs> Three names you have from from Aruba. Yeah. That is you. Um, uh, how is that guy named Mr. Ras? Will Will Wilf uh -huh. Wilfred Ras and and Michel Michel de Goya, I think. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's another one. That's another one. I I, I don't one, recall. One more. Yeah. Okay. One 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 question I have. It's it, they they always uh, send me this question. Do you maintain the same rhythm? of life between races? Yes, I do, because um, all these, like lately, all these years, I have so many races planned, including the big races that, uh, that the training const goes on constantly. And, uh, you know, to keep uh, in shape for my future goals, you, you, have to, you have to be in shape. You cannot let go for a week or longer you will lose all the work that you've done to the certain point. Wow. So, yeah, yeah you have to keep it up. Yeah, correct. Televidente, la clase de montaña mal cortica, si ni que yo no soy bien, no soy más con Lana Gobert, no es Queen de Long Distance. Welcome to Holland. Welcome to the country of the world's most famous cows. This is where your Frisian flag milk comes from. <laughs> Taste our nature at its best. Frisian flag. Discover the goodness of milk from Holland. Televidente, thank you for being with us with Lana Gobert. Lana. We know that racing is a very important part of your life. Um, yes. Is it hard to maintain? It is hard, especially if you want to keep on running faster. Uh, it, you have to work and it takes every day, you know, you have to make the right choices. You have to sleep well, you have to eat well, you have to keep on um, following your training plan. and. Um, Though I do love it, uh, at some point, of course, it, the life gets in the way. You get tired, or you you know you can get cold or something. But um, uh, yeah, it's a process. Okay, look. It's a choice. Yes, I know that. It's a choice. You have you made it. Look, um, the years it will it will grow upon you at a cert certain time. Um, do you feel it already? You know, before uh, before I used to hear that after 40 years old it gets uh, it gets harder, and I used to think that people are just telling stories and they've been lazy. And, but once I'm, I turned 40 last year, and um, now I actually I can say maybe I can feel a little bit, you know, that you that I need to I need a little bit more time to recover, and I need to adjust my trainings a little more. You're a superhero, let me tell you that. What is your next big event, uh, Lana? The next big event is a marathon in Paris during Olympic Games on August 10. Oh, you're going to Paris? Yes, I'm going to Paris and it's coming up. So that, that would be, that is one exciting, big exciting thing <laughs> coming up. What is the time you are targeting? Uh, honestly, I hope very much to finally break my personal best. Um, that's the goal. That's what we're training for. And with God's help, let's see if we get there. Uh, so my personal best right now is 2 hours 54 minutes. So to get close to that would be amazing. Wow, 2.54, look. Yeah, uh, so I hope at least break the 3 hours. <laughs> yes, it's uh, understandable because 3 hours is, is tough, 2.54 is tougher. 
So if you want to go beneath yeah. that, it will be much tougher. But knowing you, you will go for it. Yes, that's all, that's all we can do, right? We can train and we can try. <laughs> and believe and try and work. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> yes, understandable. Look, um, uh, being, being a marathon, um, in this time, it's an it's Olympic marathon, so it, it's, it has more, more pressure on it for you, for you special. Um, do you do something special for this Olympic Games? Um, honestly, not really, because uh, you know you try to treat it as any race uh, with, um, and you train and you. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm just trying not to get injured. You know, okay. I'm very being very careful for that because my previous marathon, I also had great plans, and then you know you overtrain and things happen, and so I, I'm just taking it a little more cautiously. This time, you know, because I really want to go and I want to perform well and I want to be prepared 100%. You took away the next question. Prevent, yeah. <laughs> prevent, um, how you call it? Uh, prevent the injuries. being injured, yes. Um, how do you do that? Do you have something special, um, Some, somebody with you that's constantly guiding you in that way? Um, well, we're working on my training plan with Coach Glennon and um, I, I'm just trying not to overdo things. You know how I always try. I always want to do more. I always fe feel that I can do more, and that the more I do, that would be better. But this time, I'm trying to listen to coach's advice and to mm, keep it down a notch. You know, to not to overdo it. Basically, you're a big role model. I understand now how your daughter is doing and running now. How is she doing <laughs> right now? She's still enjoying it and uh, has plans to keep running and um, it's amazing to to see and uh, she joins me for training sometimes and it, and we race each other so it's it's nice to see. Do you see yourself in her? Um, of course I do and it, you know it always every time she does something sporty and when she competes it uh, really warms my heart. But I tell you what, the, the very special moment to me was we were in Bermuda for triathlon competitions and I was, she was starting to race and I was so very nervous, I couldn't keep it together, right? And be, but as a parent, as a coach, I was, I had to give her guidance, I have to give her support and I found myself as a mother being so worried, but then I looked at her and she was standing there to start calm as and calm and confident as you can be. And I actually, at that moment, I saw her and I thought, wow, she really doesn't need no confidence from me. She has it already. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice to hear that. Televidente, wow, wow. So mother, so daughter. I say that in Lana, Lana Gober, because you could have the Korean, as a matter of fact. Thank you very much for the time timeout. Lana Gober, Lana, thank you very much. All the best with the Olympics for, for Paris. I will, I will call you before that also for a special program that good all the best thank you